Hello everyone. Sound effects and background music are two critical elements of a video, especially of a film or movie, as they can create an immersive experience for the audience. They can build the atmosphere of the scenes and give the audience vital emotional cues. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily add sound effects and background music to your video in OpenShot. As an exercise, I'm going to edit the audio track of this video. To make it sound like this. Alright, let's get started. So first thing first, make sure that the project profile's frame rate matches the original video's frame rate, which in my case here is 24 frames per second. This is a very important preparatory step, as later we'll need to set the start and end frames of the sound effect as precise as possible, so that the sound syncs with the scene nicely. So I will change the project profile's frame rate to 24 frames per second. Then, if your original video has already got a soundtrack like in my case here, you will probably want to take care of it first before adding any sound effect or changing its background music. If you want to completely remove the existing audio track, you can do one of the followings. First, you can mute the audio component by right-clicking the video clip, and then select Volume, select Entire Clip, and then click Level 0%. Or if you prefer a more flexible option, you can separate the audio track from the video first, and then edit that separated audio track any way you want. To separate the audio from the video, first create a new track below the video track. Then right-click the video clip, select Separate Audio, and then click Single Clip. As you can see here, all channels of the audio component are put in a single audio track. Now you can edit this original audio track any way you want. You may want to trim or cut off some segments of it and reduce the volume of the remainder, or you may just remove it completely and replace it with a new one. For this exercise, I'm just going to remove it completely as I'm going to replace it with a new background music. Alright, so now we've come to the actual first step of adding a sound effect to a video, which is to determine the suitable sound effect and its duration for the scene that the sound is to sync to. For this exercise, we need a sound of coffee being poured into a cup. To determine the sound effect's length, First move the playhead to the desired start frame of the sound. Let's move it to the frame where the coffee roughly first reaches the bottom of the cup. So here the coffee pouring sound should start at the 1 second and 10 frame mark of the timeline. Now let's move the playhead to the desired end frame of the sound, which should be the frame where the coffee stopped flowing out of the container. So here we'll make the sound last until the 8 second and 17 frames mark of the timeline. Based on these start and end frames, the coffee pouring sound should have a duration of 7 seconds and 8 frames. Since the video's frame rate is 24 frames per second, 8 frames will last for about 0.33 second. Therefore, we'll need a 7.33 seconds coffee pouring sound for this scene. To get the required sound, you can either record it yourself or get it from a sound library on the internet. If you try getting the sound effect from the internet, please be warned that, Getting the right sound with the right duration for your scene might be a bit challenging. So in this tutorial, I'm also going to show you a simple audio editing technique to overcome that challenge and make the sound duration match your scene. For this exercise, I'm going to get the coffee pouring sound we need from Pixabay.com, which provides a large number of royalty-free, high-quality stock sound effects. So on the search box, first I change the search filter to sound effects, and then type in water pour as the search keyword. To find the sound effect I used in the demo video I played in the beginning of this tutorial. On the search result, we can play each sound to see if they are the right one for our scene. For this tutorial, I'm gonna select the second one. But as you can see here, this sound effect has a duration of only 6 seconds, including the silence in the beginning and at the end of it, which means that, it doesn't meet our 7.3 second duration requirement. But as I said just now, to solve this duration problem, we're gonna edit the sound before we use it for our OpenShot project. To edit this sound file, I'll use a program called Audacity, which is a free open source audio editor. So now I'll just download this sound file. Once the file is downloaded, I will open it with Audacity. Let's play the sound file one more time before we edit it.
As you might have observed, in addition to the trailing silence, this coffee pouring sound also has an unwanted sound near its end. So to trim off all these leading and trailing silences and the unwanted sound, first I'll select the desired part. And then I'll click the Trim Audio Outside Selection button. Now as you can see here, the resulted audio has a duration of only about 4.3 seconds, which is almost half of the 7.3 seconds requirement. To stretch this audio to 7.3 seconds without changing its pitch, first select the audio, and then go to the menu bar. On the menu bar, click Effect, select Pitch and Tempo, and then click Change Tempo. On the Change Tempo dialog, under Length, I'll change the to value to 7.33, and then I click Apply. And now I have a 7.3 second coffee pouring sound. So let me just export this audio as an MP3 first, so that I can use it for the OpenShot project. Alright, now let's go back to OpenShot and add the edited version of the coffee pouring sound file to the project files. Then go to the timeline and move the playhead to the start frame of the coffee pouring scene, which we have decided to be at the 1 second and 10 frame. Now simply drag the sound file to this audio track and snap its left end to the playhead. Show this audio clip's waveform to ensure that it syncs with the coffee pouring scene. If we play the video, we would have something like this. To add a background music, first add the desired music file to the project files. Then add a new track below the sound effect track. After that, simply drag the music file to the track and show its waveform. To trim off the extra music duration, first move the playhead to the end of the video clip. Then right click the background music clip, select slice, and then click keep left side. And since this is a background music, we'll need to reduce its volume to a level that is just enough to create an immersive atmosphere. To do that, right-click the music clip, then select volume, select entire clip, and finally, for this exercise, I will select level 30%, which means that we set the volume to 30% of the original level. Alright, now let's play the video and see the final result. So that's it. That's how easy it is to add sound effect and background music to a video in OpenShot. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.